and 3256 construction engineering course this problem is going to consist of us trying to um, excavate so we're going to be calculating the dozer production and we want to find the total duration and cost of this portion of the work so some information that we're definitely going to need um, this here the depth that we're going down it's the entire site so if you go back to the introductory information here um, this is the site dimensions 440 yards by 300 yard here so we're going to need to know that um, and down back into the problem here number three um, we've got three dozers so keep that in mind we're going to be dividing by three at some point. It's a straight blade. Capacity here is seven. That comes into our equation. Uh, they're working independently. Here's their speeds unloaded and loaded. 150 foot is our average push length. And here's some information on ramp up here and maneuverability maneuver time here. Um, here's what we want and a swell factor we're going to need as well. Here's our efficiency, so it's perfect efficiency. All right, so where to start? Um, we're going to start by <clears throat> just getting some of the introductory information. So first thing we're going to do, let's just <clears throat> go ahead and calculate the volume that's going to be excavated or removed here. We're going to need it anyway. You might as well get it now. So, um, in order to do that, we just take the depth times the width times the length, which in this case um, is going to be equal to one yard deep. Oops. One yard deep by, we saw it up in the problem, 440. That's a four. Um, and by 300. Okay, so that'll give us a total volume of 132,000. And the dimensions are yards cubed. And that is going to be in the bank state. So that'll be our BCY. We'll put that in parentheses. So keep that in mind. All right, so next thing is to get the production. Um, going back to the equation sheet that we got. You have a production equation here in loose cubic yards per hour of the blade load divided by push time, return time, maneuver time times 60. Uh, and that'll give you minutes per, uh, or 60 minutes per hour to give you loose cubic yards per hour. All these units are minutes. So what we need to do then is <clears throat> get all of these variables. So we need to get the blade load. That one was easy, it was only seven. It was given to us, we didn't need to calculate it. But we do need to calculate push time. So the push time uh, is going to be equal to basically the speed of pushing times the length that you're pushing, and we just have to be careful with the units. So the length um, is sorry, 150, 15 feet. And so distance times the speed, or I'm sorry, divided by speed is going to give us a time. It's uh, four miles per hour, so we're going to divide by four miles one hour. And then um, miles to feet, we have to do that one. So we have one mile, it's 5280 feet. And then let's change hours to minutes since that's what the equation is looking for. So we're going to times 60 minutes is one hour. So do all that multiplication, 
and we get 0 0.43 minutes. So for one pass, 0 0.43 minutes push time. All right, so let's get the return time then. Using basically the same equation, uh, we're going to stick with 150 feet. The only difference is instead of 4 miles an hour, we're going 6 miles an hour. So 6 miles, same conversions, 1 mile, 5280 feet, and 60 minutes. and we get 0 0.28 minutes. There's our return time. We also need to find our maneuver time. So let's write man. Okay, and this one's a little bit different. Um, to get the maneuver time, you have the ramp up and the maneuvering. So maneuvering um, is given in the problem. Up here. There it is. Okay, so maneuvering um, 0 0.06 and ramp up is 0 0.05. So we combine the ramp up and the maneuver time. Um, for one pass, you're going to have to ramp up twice, there and back, and then you're going to have to maneuver for that amount of time. So we're going to put the maneuver is equal to 0 0.06 and then we're going to add ramp ups which are 0 0.05 and there's two of them. So times two. Okay. So our maneuver time comes out to 0 0.16 minutes. Alright so now we have all of the variables we need for our production equation right here. So we're going to plug them all in. We're going to get production equals our blade load, 7 is cubic yards, divided by all of these factors, push time 0 0.43 plus 0 0.28, that's our return time, and our maneuver time 0 0.16. We're going to take all of that oops, times 60, and that's to convert it into hours to make it a little easier. So plug all that in, you get 483. And that's loose cubic yards per hour. So there's our production. Um, going from there, if we want to get total uh, time, we need to take that production, or we need to take the actual volume of the site that's going to be uh, excavated and divide it by that production value. So we need to find the total volume of the site that's going to be excavated. And this one, if you notice, is in um, loose cubic yards here. And the volume that we're removing is in bank cubic yards. So we just need to make that adjustment um, for the bank to loose. So in order to do that, we're going to use our swell factor which comes from here. Swell factor is 20%. So using 20%, we're going to have the total volume. So I'll just put um, BT is equal to, <coughs> excuse me, 132, which we got from above, the bank, 1,000. CY. And um, that's going to be multiplied by a swell factor of 1.2. 
So that gives us a total volume of 158,000. And that's in loose cubic yards. So now we can actually do the calculations. Okay. So, so given that volume, um, if we want to find the time, remember that's one of the things we're looking for. It's going to be the total volume divided by the production. It's going to be equal to 158,000. LCY divided by 483 LCY per hour. So that's going to give us a total time of 327 hours. 327 hours. Okay, and just remember here, the only thing we have to account for is that's per dozer. Or for one dozer, I guess I could say. Um, hour dozer times dozer would probably be more appropriate. So the time for us, since we have three, just divided by three. So 327 divided by three, and you get 109 hours. So there's one of ours. Then we just need to compute the cost, which was going to be done the same way. Um, going back to the previous problem, problem two, if you didn't already, we already adjusted the labor cost. The adjusted was 40.59 per operator. And that's taking into account EMR and workers' comp. So going back, if we want to find the cost, it's equal to 109 hours. times forty fifty nine dollars per hour operator times three operators and that gives us a total cost of thirteen thousand two hundred seventy eight And there's your solution.